I know that. Yes. Yes, welcome to the workshop. This is the Pages and Go workshop here. Yes. You're here to buy your Pages and Co. book. Yes, and you're coming you're coming a little bit. Yes, that's fine. We do have your book here. Alright. Yes, well, we'll have it ready for you. The price will be fifteen ninety nine. Yes. Alright. See you then. Hello there. Welcome. Yes, welcome to Pages and Co. How might we help you today? Yes, you're getting a gift. I see. Right. May I know who for and perhaps what books they like and I will happily make some wonderful suggestions. Mm hmm Wonderful. So, they like art books? How old? Quite young. Ten? Alright. Story books and art books. Yes, art is a rare thing to see children so young. They must be a prodigy. Yes. <laughs> I myself was one too. Well, lucky for you, I'm not sure if you've heard, but we do sell a great deal of art books, and it is a pra it is a, a title to be hold. Yes. Well. As you can see, we do have children's books. We have a lot of art books displayed back. And we also, yes, we have a lot of story books, mythology, a lot of Charles Dickens, that is a specialty. We have a lot of Charles Dickens book collectors come here, and they tend to find a great joy looking through our wide selection. And another special thing about most of our books is that they are all, for as much as we can help it, vintage. Yes, they are mostly vintage copies. Except these, these are more modern ones. And then up in our fantasy section up there, most of those are thrifted. All here, every single book in this section is vintage. All our Charles Dickens books are around from the 1940s-ish. And most of our art books are thrifted and vintage. And also, here, if you have any books that you have laying around, that you don't have anywhere for them to go. You can feel free to donate them here and we will give you coupons for other books. Yes, and we do prefer antiques. Yes. Right, wonderful. Yes. No, these books aren't for sale. These are for, um, we have some, you can check out our website as well. And you can buy our books. These are just books waiting for customers that are going to come later today or tomorrow. Yes. Except for this one. This is a sketchbook we have for sale. If you would be interested in this one, do let us know. Yes. Perhaps this one has no lines in it. It is it doesn't have lined paper. So it's very good for sketching. And I imagine since your young friend here likes art, that maybe this would be a good option. Yes. Well, like 
me show you our uh, top best books that I would personally recommend the most from um, what it sounds like your friend likes for his birthday. Right. that 10 best books the Reader's Digest would be a wonderful option if you'd like to consider this is again a vintage copy and it's very good fun I really quite like it and it would be an excellent option I think especially for a younger child we have a bunch of stories in it and let me show you which ones those are is inside. It's very lovely. You can see the paper has a beautiful yellow look to it. And yes. So we have a bunch of our florins here. Yeah, there's another book called The Sea Around Us. A small back room. And yes, just a like. And they are very wonderful books. And I would recommend this book a lot. That is this one. I would highly, highly recommend this one. It is a wonderful book. It has a beautiful cover. And if you would best like to restore your copies of these books, it is best you keep them in a Ziploc bag or away from the sunlight. Make sure the Ziploc bag is a plastic that will not degrade the book. And um, you can do research on that. Um, and make sure he takes good care of it. These are valuable copies. Um, so this one, the price range is from around 20 to 25 dollars. We do um, usually with the price of all vintage books, unlike most stores, because we do believe the vintage are the most valuable. Yes, the price for this one is around, yes, 20 to 25. So I'll write that down. So that is around the price range for that. So if you'd be interested in that, what do you think of this one? You like it. Excellent. Alright, I will put this one right here to the side. Meanwhile.
just looking for more books here. I totally forgot that we have these from California. These are for sale, actually, if you are interested. No, all right. Yes, but they do look really good as metal pieces. If you'll change up. This is a book with Yato's artwork. The world of Yato. It is absolutely amazing. He's a wonderful artist. And as you can see, there is an absolutely Stunning picture of one of his artworks on the front on the book cover. I love the book cover of this. So, his main artwork he was around in 1267 to 1337, and so his artworks are very ancient and absolutely beautiful. So, let me show you a look. This. All right. So, what do you think of this? You like it, but you're not sure yet. Yes, I will put this one back for now. Would you like me to put this back for now? Yes. All right. Another one which I think is good for younger children. I know that one is really for more mature artists, more mature artists would understand that. For that I think all ages could enjoy. I had a copy of this book when I was younger, and it is an absolutely wonderful book. And this book shows the artwork of Joseph Cornell. And he made shadow boxes. His art is amazing. And it's all sort of 3D style. Do you have to take a look at this one? Yes, you should. The art. Again, it's, it's beautiful. I can't describe it. You get to this lovely blue. Here's some of his artwork. Absolutely wonderful. So here we have. And here is an example of some of his amazing artworks here. You see this very unique broken glass look and birds. The, his works are really just absolutely stunning. Here we have some astrological looking pieces here. See his supplies, and we get paras and paras. This is a little bit. This is quite a lot for a ten-year-old, but the pictures are quite captivating. I think. No, really, do think any age can enjoy this. I love this one. It 
is absolutely captivating what he creates. So that is an idea of what's in this one. You would be interested in this one? Wonderful. Alright, I shall go to the museum. We have one more artwork, which I think is amazing. It's again slightly more mature art that might be understood more by adults as it is slightly more abstract but I don't know I think whatever age you are you can enjoy art. This is lovely lovely good one. This is all written in a different language, but you don't really need to read to take a look at these amazing artworks. This paper is very nice and thick, and it has just this wonderful high-quality feel, and it really feels like these drawings have been drawn in by hand. I don't know how many pages. This book smells well. These are excellent for artists um, to use as references for inspiration. It's, it's just gorgeous. It really is. So just sketches in this book. This whole book is just sketches, but it's so beautiful to look at. I love this book. Glorious work. So much dedication. Yes, there are wonderful references for poses or drawing. You can look at these when you're trying to. Long, long human anatomy. I love the shadow on the face of this one. This one is captivating, I must say. So successful. More amazing pose references. And that's a rough idea of what's in that book. So would you be interested in this one? You would? Wonderful. I will put this here. This ranges from the price of around, yes, yes, around 20 to 25. And it is written in a different language. All right, so you've looked through three. Let me think of another good child's book. Let's see. With one, which one, which one, which one? I think. But which one?
this one. This here is a vintage 1950s copy of the Bobacy Bo 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 Twins at the lighthouse. Now, this is another storybook very good for children. Would, would you like to take a look at this, perhaps? Yes, right. Let's take a look. This I just found in a bird in a birdhouse library, actually, and it's quite a nice copy. I must say, I think I got quite lucky. Yes. Here, as we open up into the first page, we get a wonderful picture of these children playing. I'm not super sure what this book is about, but indeed, I think it would be very good. I've got, I've heard very good things about it. So there's not really much to show in this one. It's, it is just words, but very nice. It is still in fairly good shape. Would you be interested in this one? Good. This one ranges from around fifteen dollars. You've got four books you're thinking of. All right, now, one more. Let me look here. Now, this is a very vintage copy. Scott's Lady of the Lake. Now, this is a wonderful little pocket classic that your little friend can carry around with you wherever he goes. And it's great, and it even comes with a couple of little activities inside that will help you learn and memorize a little bit of the story. And it's very good for education as well. Usually teachers will buy this, but I think, really, you can, even just in your spare time, you can read it, and it's just quite wonderful. And activities and it are very fun. Would you like to take a look at that? Yes. All right. This was previously owned by Grace. Henry. Printed in 1915. So this is all an introduction to the style of poem writing and a little bit about what you'll see. And then it comes with a study. So you can do an assignment for it, and it's, it's quite interesting. And you've got an introduction to what you to do, and then you've got a bunch of ideas for how to approach this assignment. And then here you've got a wonderful map of the world that this takes place in. So, yes, the Lady of the and here you've got a captivating story with many Arthurian references. And it's wonderful for, for all ages. Yes. I'd recommend this be read to the child by an adult, as there are some slightly darker themes in it um, that would be best skipped over and then read again when at a slightly older age. But, would you like that? Wonderful. I'll put that right here. Now, you have looked through about five books here. Would you like to, which ones would you like to check out? All of them. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Now, your total will be around. It will be around about 60 
you also doll us, is that right? Yes. Wonderful. I'm sure your friend would love these. These are books for your friend, one for yourself, another book for your friend. Yes. Ah, you will be very spoiled. Alright. Thank you very much. Alright, well thank you for your kind um, payment. And here are your books. And please feel free to come again. We like to get give our customers the best service possible. And you can find us online at pagesandco.com and give us a rating on customer service. And yes, yes, and you can post pictures of these books on social media and the tag us as well. Um, so other people can see the books you've got, so they can get an idea of the things we sell. Yes, all right, here you go. Have a wonderful day, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.